I'm nearly done with the Furtherance mobile app that I've been creating with Dioxys. And I've even killed most of the bugs that I had in the app, but I do still have a couple of issues that I'm just really having trouble getting around. So I'm gonna show you one right now. Um, it's not so much of an issue as it is just a minor inconvenience, I guess, or I think more of what it is is a lack of skill on my part. So I'm not great at CSS, which I think is the issue here. But I just wanted to show you in Dioxys here, if I, in the HTML or body tag, um, put height 100%, I've just made this background pink, and then I've made my page content light blue so you can see what I'm talking about. So with 100% here, uh, it leaves the safety area at the top and bottom of the phone, which is really good. It's a great thing to have. So the content actually scrolls under the safety area and doesn't go below the safety area. But the problem, as you can see here, is with my navigation, if I want that down towards the bottom, it's not possible. It's got a little gap here, which is fine. Um, but it just makes some things difficult. So with the navigation, it's fine. But let me show you if I change the view height. So it changes to 100 view height. So as you can see now, this has changed to being completely at the bottom. But the problem is if I scroll up, it scrolls that up as well. And then this scrolls into that safety zone. So it still gives this safety zone padding at the bottom. So this, even though this is fixed to the bottom technically, it doesn't actually work. It scrolls up and down. So that's the issue that I've had. And you know, that it's not really a problem. If I just change this back, okay, now it's, let me reload it. Okay, so now we're back and this is working as it should. You know, if I scroll here, and then there's the gap here. But if I, in my thing, go here to where I have an alert box, so let's say I try to delete a, tax, a task, the problem I would like to see resolved is that this background area actually goes to the top and bottom out of the safety zone. So I would like the overlay here, this gray overlay, to extend here. It's just kind of weird to me that it's cut off like if I remove the background colors, then you can see this is how it actually looks in the true app. And it just looks a bit odd with that, that cut off there. So I would like to see this extend and I guarantee I'm just missing it. I guarantee there's a way in CSS to do this and I just don't know how, but I don't know how, so. so if anybody has any tips on this, I would love to hear them because that's one of the last issues that I'm running into. And then there's one other big issue that is actually going to prevent me from even releasing this app. So luckily I was able to find with the help of some great people on the uh, Dioxys Discord chat, I was able to figure out how to get this thing to actually work on my iPhone. So I've been able to transfer it to my iPhone and test it on my actual physical iPhone. But what's happening is there's no app icon. So I can show you here in this furtherance, there is no app icon at all. It's just this weird, you know, no icon icon. And that's obviously not great. I've asked around on uh, GitHub and on the Discord chat, and I just can't seem to find anybody who's successfully gotten an app working on an iOS device. So it does seem that people have it working in Mac OS or Linux, but the icon feature of Dioxys just is not working in mobile, it seems. I could be wrong. It could be that I just haven't found the answer yet, but from everybody I've heard from, nobody has it working. So that's a huge uh, deterrent from using Dioxys right now, I think, because I don't even know if it's possible or allowed in the app store to release your app without an app icon, and you probably wouldn't want to anyway. So for now, I'm testing it 
And I'm really hoping that in Dioxys 0.7, this becomes available. Otherwise, I have no idea what I'm going to do. It's a little bit frustrating that I gotten this far in my journey of creating this app and it's just almost ready to release and I just can't release it. It's just not, there's no app icon. It seems like something that has to be there from the start before even working on getting the, the app working because nobody can create an app with Dioxys for mobile if it doesn't have an icon. So hopefully this gets resolved soon or hopefully there's just a way that I'm missing. I can show you in my dioxys.toml. I've got the bundle uh, content with the icon and I have all of these icons the PNGs in a folder, the assets icon folder, and then I've got an ICNS2, but none of these seem to work. So I don't know if it's a size issue or a file format issue that I need something different or if it just doesn't work yet. So for now, I'm just tweaking a little thing, a few things and testing the app and hoping to get it all perfect so that as soon as I figure this out or a new version of Dioxys is released that fixes this, uh, I can just get the app route right away. So fingers crossed that that works and that that happens. And in the meantime, I guess y'all will just have to wait for the app. So appreciate you watching these videos and these videos aren't going to stop just because I'm stuck here. I'm going to make some more based on little bugs that I find when I'm testing it myself, how I do the testing myself, all that type of stuff. Uh, I still have some other videos that I've promised you like uh, my switching to Helix and things like that. And I will be getting those out, but I've got a little bit of vacation coming up. So it might be a little while, but uh, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.